we're going to solve this inequality and it's already written in a good way or in an easy way because it's greater or equal to zero. So we know that this is going to be like this if each factor is both positive or both negative. And to understand when that happens, we're going to factorize the expression. So we have x minus one over, and we factorize, and we know that we need two numbers that multiplied give us 12, but added give us one. So we can try with four and minus three, because then minus three plus four, we have one, but minus three times four is minus, is minus 12. So we have that this must be equal greater or equal to zero. Then we look for when this is going to change signs. And one of two things can happen. First, this one can become zero and then we pass from negative to positive or positive to negative. Or the expression becomes undefined and there we can have a change in sign. So first this one, if we have x minus one equal to zero, then we have that x must be equal to one. If we have x minus three equal to zero, then we must have x equal three. And x plus four equals zero, so x must be equal to minus four. So we know where our expression might change signs. And so we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, and put six here. I know that the important points are in one and in three. Also, we're going to need negative one, two, three, Four. This one is important because it's one of the points where the expression might change sign. There you go, like that. Then we need to know the sign of each one of this. And here we have, for example, x minus one, the x minus three, the x plus four. And at last we have the sign over expression. This is one x minus three times x plus four. So we have to, we are going to break the real line in this point. And we start evaluating. So for example, x minus one in this whole interval is going to be negative. If we can test it, for example, here, minus five, minus five minus one is negative, And that's what is important about this, the sign. So this is negative. This one is also negative. This one is also negative. So when I put them in this expression, we have negative divided negative times negative. So negative times negative is positive. So we have here a negative sign. So all over this interval, these all numbers less than minus four, this expression is less than zero. We keep going here and between these two numbers, between minus four and one, we have that x minus one is still negative. We can try it for example with zero, zero minus one, that's negative, zero minus three, that's negative, zero plus four, that's positive. So when we put all together, we have negative, negative, and positive. So we have positive sign. So on this interval from minus four to one, this expression is greater than zero. Now between one and three, we have that x minus one now is positive. We can check that if we try with the number two here. There, we have two, we have two minus one that's positive. We try two minus three, that's negative. We try two plus four, that's positive. And then we have positive, negative, positive. So we have negative. And at last we try this interval and here we have positive, positive, 
and positive so our expression is going to be positive so we have the points that we need we know that this is going to be greater than zero from minus four up to one and from three to well we're going to put plus infinity here now we can't put minus four in this expression because it's going to be undefined so we use round parentheses but we can put one on this expression so we use square brackets now we can't use three because that makes this expression undefined so we use round parentheses and well plus infinity is not really a number so we are not going to use it so we use round parentheses i need these two intervals so i join them and then we have our answer and that's it